Hello my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. The reason why I am doing this video now is to let the whole, the whole world know. Is to let the whole Bia France, Mono Nuno, Mono Nama, to know what happens to Iboja in Enugu State. Governor Peter Mba of Enugu State killed Iboja. I repeat myself. Governor Peter Mba have proved with an open confession that he orchestrated it and ordered for the shooting of that young man, leaving his wife, a widow, and also his children fatherless. Here the headline. Enugu government, or governor rather, condemns illegal sit at home order over death of musician Iboja. So, if I may ask, if Simon Ekpa does not call for sit at home, if Simon Ekpa does not call for the entire lockdown of Enugu State over this guy's mysterious death in the hands of the so called anti court police or, or um, SARS, so Enugu State governor does not see anything bad on the death of that young man. So, Enugu State cannot sacrifice a day. And said, let there be total lockdown in the whole of that area. Let us mourn this hero. A lot of people have cried out that nobody will ever give them the kind of music Ibuja is giving to them. Most especially, every Saturday morning, Ibuja, not collecting any dime from anybody, will lead a multitude of people with his ogene doing exercise, both old and young. Simon Ekpa called the shot. And this man came out to call Simon Ekpa criminals. In other words, he's telling the world that I killed this guy and nobody is going to do anything about it. Just like the monkey that is they call uh, Ikechi Ike 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 of Abia State, who molested an, an Oba driver in Abuja, telling them that I'll make you, or telling the guy rather, that I'll make you to disappear in this Abuja and nothing is going to happen. Let it be on record and let his carry it. That the Enugu State Governor have openly confessed that he killed Ibuja. If you cannot call for a 24 hours lockdown, at least to give this guy respect. Because the man he situated there killed this guy. They keep on killing people, keep on killing innocent citizens just to provoke them so that when they arise, then the so called FCT will unleash their Fulani terrorists on the people of Southeast. It happened in Enugu, it happened in Nimbo State, it happened in, uh, in, uh, in Abia State. It is, it's, it is a continuous uh, uh, um, um, uh, um, happenings in Anambra State by the zoo security personnel. Because the locality have no command over this thing. They give you and they are the one to speak to them. Enugu Dr. Peter Mbaleti be on record killed Ibuja. That is where I stand. And if you think it is not correct, miss me at the comment section. Let us argue it out. Like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. Before I forget, Ibuja Jaja have been a strong a strong, a strong, when I mean a strong, I mean he has been a strong supporter of IPOB. He don't hide his feelings. He did not hide his feelings. This is a move to provoke the Biafrans in Enugu State. To do a, anything, then you find out that the whole of the south, that area from uh, Benue have been surrounded by Fulani foot soldiers. They will unleash mayhem on the Biafrans. That's exactly what they did. They did to a prominent somebody like that. The what happened to the ordinary citizens that they have been killing? Iboja, don't forget, it's a celebrity. A very big one at that. That have been respected all over Enugu State. Anywhere you call Enu Iboja, anywhere you play his music, people must shake body. People must tell you that I love this guy. 
Now Peter and Bar have killed him. You go go and take the dead body and eat. Tunubu does not need you, ex militant leader, knocks Asari Dokubo. Now Asari Dokubo has been used, dumped, and forsaken. Nam the Kano's lawyer and DSS legal department meet over restrictions. My dear, we are hitting the ground running. We have no much time to waste. The Enugu State Governor has dismissed as mischievous the illegal sit at home order declared by unidentified non state actors for today, October 29, 2024. Purportedly, in response to the tragic death of popular Ogene music, Ogene musician, sorry to say, uh, OKZ Mba, known as Ibuja Jaja. The government condemned those behind the order, calling them criminals and opportunists who seek to exploit the, the situation for their own agenda, harming the interests of Ndibu and Ndienugu. In a statement to the government, the government assured the public that it is working closely with security agencies to ensure that those responsible for the death of Ibuja are held accountable. Those. That means it's not one person. It described the sit at home orders other uh, sponsors and promoters as enemies of Enugu state and the Igbo nation. The government urged residents to disregard the illegal directive and carry on with their regular activities, emphasizing its commitment to safeguarding lives and property. Authorities confirmed that suspects involved in the killing of Iboja are already in custody and undergoing interrogation and prosecution. The government in a statement issued by the secretary to the state governor, SSD, Professor Chide Bere Onya, on Sunday said, Our attention has been drawn to reports making rounds on social media to the effect that some criminal and faceless non-state actors have declared a seat at home in Enugu on Tuesday, which is today, October 29, 2024, purportedly to protest the unfortunate killing of popular Ogene musician OKC Mba a.k.a. Iboja, by a police officer on Friday night. The Enugu State Government once again restates its condemnation of the killing as abominable, unacceptable, and totally against the values we hold dear, most especially the sanctity of human life. Indeed, His Excellency, who is not excellent, Governor Peter Mba, spared no time in ordering a thorough investigation to unravel the circumstances of the killing with a view to bringing the perpetrators to justice. Already, the culprits have been identified and in custody while investigation continues. On Sunday morning, a delegation from the state government, from the state government led by secretary to the state government and chief of staff to the governor, barrister Victor Ude, visited the bereaved family to emphasize which so empathize sorry, to, uh, sorry with them and re emphasize the government commitment to ensuring that justice is served the Enugu state government is however not surprised that criminal elements are seeking to exploit the opportunity uh unfortunate situation to cause mayhem in the state restrict economic activities and inflict more pain on our people these opp opportunities who play on the emotions of our people in the name of freedom agitation do not mean well for a people well known for enterprise hard work and creativity they cannot be our true representatives they do not represent the values we cherish they are simply criminals and enemies of ndibu sponsored to destabilize the region to this end and as usual there shall be no compliance with illegal sit at home order in any part of Enugu State on Tuesday, October 29 of 2024, government will muster all the powers at its disposal to ensure the security of lives and property of our people. Government hereby charges civil servants, farmers, market men and women, the corporate sector, businesses and shop owners, schools, teachers and all workers in Enugu State that they sit at home, uh, sit at home belong to an inglorious past we must erase from our memories. Tunumbu does not need you, 
Uh, okay, does not need you. Ex militant leader knocks Asari Dokubo as he had been used and dumped like a, a, a rag. A former militant leader and mayor of Urobo Land, Eshanakwe, Israel, aka Akwadoro, had berated the leader of the defunct Niger Delta Volunteer Force, Asari Dokubo, over his plan to oppose the possible re election of Bola Ahmed Tunumbu in 2027. Earlier, Asari accused. Bola Ahmed Tunumbu of betraying him after the 2023 general elections in the country. Dokubo in a viral video online said he emptied his bank account and spent all his money to campaign for Tunumbu in the 2023 election, but the president has now turned his back on him. According to him, the current Tunumbu is not the Tunumbu he used to know. Reacting to Dokubo's claims, Akbadoro said it was mischievous for anyone to expect the Nigerian leader to patronize him at the detriment of development and growth of the nation. He encouraged Asari Dokubo to freely establish alliances with whoever he chooses, asserting that Dokubo as an individual possesses the right to support any candidate of his preference. During a press conference held in Abuja over the weekend, where a pro-2027 coalition for President Tunumbu's election was the focal point of a roundtable discussion. The mayor remarked that Alaji Asari is not a respected figure among his contemporaries and should article his own views. He further emphasized that the entire Niger Delta region stands firmly behind Chief Government, uh, uh, Chief Gov okay, Chief Government Ekbomopolo also known as Tompolo, or the GOC. Akbodoro expressed that the residents of the Niger Delta are pleased with the social economic advancement taking place throughout the region, highlighting the progress in human and material development under the current administration. He contrasted this with the previous era, which was marked by widespread poverty and despair. He asserted that the fulfillment of one individual's demand should not serve as the benchmark for evaluating the performance of the APC administration in one region. Instead, he maintained that the social, economic, and political welfare of the majority, particularly in terms of human empowerment and development, should be the primary criteria for assessing the governance standards in the area. Tunumbu's government, the mayor noted, emerged through the collective efforts of the Nigerian people, including Niger Deltans, who overwhelmingly voted for him at the pools and not the making of one man. The boy of further stated that more, uh, more than it was in 2023, the people of the Niger Delta would massively and overwhelmingly vote Bola Amir Tunumbu to enable him complete his national reformative assignment. Apodoro added that the Bola Amir Tunumbu's led administration has been fair to all sections of the country in his bid to build an equitable political system, including empowering the next generation of Nigerians to take the mantle of leadership when their time comes. It is mischievous, mischievous for anyone to expect Bola Ambe Tunumbu to patronize him at the detriment of the development and growth. He appointed a technocrat, Dr. Dennis Otuaru, as the administrative of the Presidential Amnesty Program, PAP. The engine of the service of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, is grinding non-stop. Those we trust in the region were appointed and more than ever before. Our creek is expressing peace as Tantita Security Service Nigeria Limited is waging relentless war on oil thieves, thereby whittling down the power of criminals. We encourage Alaji, Alaji uh, Dokubo Asare to postpone his alignment until 2027, allowing him to choose his preferred association. Why the remainder of the Niger Delta will support Bolambe Tunumbu, a southern and recognized for his transformative potential for a new Zonjuria. Namdekano's lawyer and DSS lawyers they meet over the decision of his lawyers. The legal team of Namdekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP on Monday met with the legal arm of the Department of State Service DSS. The meeting followed the restriction DSS imposed on the Biafra agitator after his last outing in court. 
DSS a blood canal from having access to his legal team after he caused an uproar at the Federal High Court in Abuja where he demanded the recusal of injustice, Binta Iyako. But the court had threatened to jail the DSS Director General Adeola Ajayi if the secret police failed to leave the restriction. Amid the blockade, the House of Representatives member from Iukwano, Umaya North and South Federal constituency, Ubi Agwacha, had physically met with the Kano on Thursday, 24th of October, 2024, at the DSS facility in Abuja. After the meeting, the lawmaker said he had resolved the issue of restrictions placed by the DSS. Consequently, Kano's legal team, led by counsel Aloye Jimako, met with the DSS legal team for two hours. Posting on X, Edmako wrote, official press statement, today, the Margin and the Kano legal team met with the legal department of the DSS over the persisting restrictions on the council visitation to Mazi Namdekano. We met for over two hours. Enough said for now because the matter is subjudice. So, my wonderful people, now here we go take back break. When I get our voice again, we will come back. Please continue liking, sharing, commenting, and make sure you keep subscribing to this channel for more interesting videos coming your way. My name is Sidi Man. I'm Andy Anese. On our way down, my people. Abraba. Kemesiano.